The shadows have a glorious time Creating myths of bustling lives To make up for who's moved out And with a curse of ghosts that roam in malls And with a population stuck answering calls Who can blame them for Right. Appreciate it. <laughs> See, so now that's a duck when I walk to the. Yeah. There you so go. I'm gonna get dressed. Love me get dressed. <laughs> I'm gonna come out here stunned. There you go. So like, I'm I'm looking at this. I'm like, I didn't know that all this went into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get my hair cut by my cousin. I understand because there's blending and there's there's a lot that goes into like fading right. and blowouts on. I don't, I don't, like, I just see you guys. I don't actually see the process it's that goes into It's the process. Yeah. It's just being a female is just, like, there's a, okay, I don't want this one. There's a lot that goes into being a female. You want to look good. Like, you want to have, you know, you want to have yourself put together. And especially, like, times like this, I mean, we've just been going for, like, three months looking like doo-doo. And not really caring. I mean, you you present yourself for the field, but it's like you're on the field. You're not going like crazy. I mean, there's a few girls that get crazy makeup, but for me, I keep it real natural when I'm on the field. Like not not too much going on. And then it's like now it's like you get to put on that nice outfit, and you get to like really like show out. When we went to college, they're really big at Florida. They're really big on like look good, play good. So I had to kind of learn to like look good. So <laughs> that's the only way I could really explain it. When you go to college, you're like, okay, um, let's look pretty. I'm, lear no, I'm learning. I'm shaping here. my face. Yeah, I'll clean it up. I'm shaping my face right now, basically. Okay. So before I was, you know, real. Now I'm not. Is this ain't really me. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> now, so who's that in the mirror right now? Who's that? Girl, who are you? Who are we? We are us. That's more Bain Berlin. Bain Berlin! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, do that. I mean, yeah, you. You're best. They're literally the same shoes, though. You're Kelly K. You're best as black. Yeah. I'm wearing a white, but not black. Hmm. Ooh, all white with the red shoes. That's what. Yeah. Yes, no best. With the red bow tie. With the red bow tie. That'd be so swaggy. Yes. Yes, Kelly. With the white belt or black belt? White. White. Okay. Do you really want to wear the vest, though? No, I've just never not really worn a vest. I think the white with the red. I think the all white with the red. Too. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. All, right. all white with the red. Let's go. All white with the red. Yeah, that was harder than our dress. You decision. find it? No. Thank you. Do you see what I have to go through every year? Look, I got these shoes. Woo! Working. <laughs> Stunting. <laughs> that black on black, though. Yeah, but this, though. That, that, yeah, you're gonna stand out with that for sure. <laughs> I feel like this, this is that, that 40s, 50s look right here. I, a bit, I dig it. A bit. I dig it. Man. See, it's not, it's, look. This, this ain't working. This, <laughs> I think, yeah, really? all black. Hold on. Because you just sparkle. Because it's sparkles. Okay, just can I look in there? Sparkles. Ross is sparkles. diamond crusted. Jordan, this isn't okay. just sparkles. Congratulations for our 2017 Rollins Gold Love Award winner. Chelsea Pride, Chelsea Giddy.
We'll go to Kelly Gretchen. It goes to a player that led in nearly every offensive category, including average, slugging percentage, on base percentage, all three of which the second place numbers weren't even close. She also led in hits and walks and tied for the league in doubles. For the third consecutive season, the NPF player of the year, Kelly Crutcher. just that consistency wins and that it doesn't matter how old you get <laughs> and that your knowledge can keep growing honestly. Um, I've also learned that uh, open communication also wins this ball games too. So you can be so great and so good and keep it all to yourself but she's the first one in there you know trying to help me out and uh, if I ever have a question I'm going to Kelly hey can you just look and, and that's another thing that she can do is just pick something up just off looking at me. I don't ask her to look for something specific I just say watch this and she'll pick something up and it's usually the adjustment that I need. I thought I knew a lot about softball when I got here, but I still have a lot to learn. You know, I have different approaches in the batter's box, um, learning shifts on the defense, so I'm picking up a lot of new stuff that's up in my game. You know, why I was able to you know, increase my batting average in there, it's because our team got so much better. Um, you know, Romo was a lot of our guy machine. Uh, Lauren had so much better. Shelby, you know, everyone just stepped up behind me, and it kind of be a, it was able for her to change my thought process throughout the game. It's like I was able just to you know, go for singles and get on base and do little things like that. Um, that I've been used to doing throughout my career because um, I played with some phenomenal hitters before and that's what I've been able to do. Um, and last year, you know, I kind of had to, you know, be the RBI person and kind of hit the home runs and stuff like that. So, um, you know, with having a better season from everyone else, kind of helped me have a better season as well. Uh, you can definitely 
can tell that everybody in this room really doesn't care about themselves, they care about the team. Uh, you get so many superstars on our roster and, and you can look up and down the lineup and, and you can see so many powerful names and, and so many accomplishments previously, um, but everybody kind of gets over themselves and buys into the team, so I think that makes it special. I think it's important because when it's all said and done, uh, people will remember if you're a good teammate more than they'll remember if you're a good player. Because I know so many good players that are like, man, she could really hit the ball or she could pitch so well, but I couldn't stand being you know, with her in the dugout. And I think it, it's important in the long run to be a good teammate.